Welcome to the channel everybody, it's Jake Reed, and today I'm coming at you with the second episode of this series where I try and teach my friends how to play Madden. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, unfortunately, our schedules haven't lined up quite the way that I would have liked to so that I can share play my, you know, actually going in and teaching them how to play and whatnot. Um, but I have been in communications with them constantly, giving them tips and everything, and I want to show you guys just a status update of where we're at through three weeks. i got to play my, th my week three game, so I'm going to go ahead and do that here for you guys. But I'm going to check our schedules here so far. Uh, we got that easy win in week one against the Dolphins. The Philadelphia Eagles, who are, I believe, the second best team in the game uh, just by overall rating at this point. Uh, they're like an 87 or an 88 or something like that. We had a tough matchup against them. We had an unfortunate fumble by Robbie Anderson and some drop balls by our tight ends. Uh, overall, we played a pretty good game, and then towards the end, we let up a big 70-yard pass to Golden Tate, I believe the receiver is. Um, that or it had to have been Alshon Jeffrey or somebody, but we allowed like a 70-yard touchdown pass, and they ended up winning the game. So a tough loss for us, but that's against one of the best teams in the game. You have to keep in mind we're like a 75, so I do expect that we might lose a game here and there. I wasn't all that surprised that we kind of gave this one away because our team isn't that good yet. But I do want to show you guys some of the progress that these guys have been making. So <laughs> actually a couple interesting storylines to this point. Um, Tyler, who is playing as the um, Patriots, came away with a win in week two. Um, and actually did a nice job playing against the Dolphins. The Dolphins are a pretty easy team and actually not much... You know, not much different of a result from when we played them. Um, the Patriots are a little bit better of a team, so you can see there is a bit of a skill gap between he and I. Uh, and then he wasn't able to get a win versus the Bills in Week 2. He said Mark Ingram, who signed there, just kept going off in the run game. So we're going to be focusing on giving him run defense tips here and just defensive tips moving forward. Um, but, you know, he shows the capability of winning here on all Madden, uh, especially, you know, against lower-end teams. So, you know, coming up, we should should be able to get him some wins we do play each other in week five so i'm hoping that we can stream that game um and hopefully that'll be an interesting matchup uh, user games are a lot different than ai games um, my main goal here isn't to get them good at user games they're already pretty decent playing users um depending on the day um but the the goal was to get them better at playing ai so that's kind of the story of tyler roberts who is playing as the patriots in my division uh and then on to the next one which would be the cardinals uh, and this is Walking Visions, Walking Avenger, or the other Tyler, depending on how you want to go looking at it. And um, so he had two very tough losses in the first two weeks. I mean, he got creamed. Um, and he actually quit the league after week two. And it took some convincing, and it took me, you know, giving him a lot of help, a lot of tips. <coughs> and him coming back determined to really make a difference and really show that he can actually play with the with the other guys here so he came back and actually got an impressive win 21 to 17 against the rams in week three and the rams are one of the top teams in the game one of the top four teams overall wise i'm not sure where exactly they rank because i haven't looked at it within the past couple of days but um a nice progression there we'll hope that he can carry that over into what should be an easier game against a team like the 49ers uh potentially even the seahawks a couple divisional matchups and then he has a bye week so there is some progression going on here he scored a couple extra points in the second game but he struggled with defense it looks like he got better with defense here in this game uh and by all accounts talking with him he just threw less interceptions uh and made some smarter decisions he does say however that his offensive line is struggling a bit which is no surprise he did make efforts to try and build the offensive line but his is going to be more of a two-year type of build just because the the cardinals much like my jets are a lower end team now the other team is what the chiefs and this is jake now jake i believe actually showed some nice progression because in week one he had a very tough time against the bears and he got pretty much demolished and ended up simming it out at the end of the game because he was so ticked off but then in week two he came back back against a tough jaguars team put up 31 points and he actually took this game to overtime um the jaguars went down and scored a field goal he went down and tied it with a field goal and then the jaguars went down and the clock ran out 
And for some reason, it took it to a second overtime period, which is what Madden does. I should have warned him of this, but it goes to a second overtime period because Madden isn't programmed to know the actual rules of the game uh, in this regard anyway. It glitches like this all the time, and I don't know why I don't see more people complaining about this issue. But it went to second overtime, and he ended up losing by a field goal. So that's really, you know, that should count as at least a tie. Um, so, that, you know, that's progression from week one to week two. And then week three here, I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet, but he only lost by a field goal. So I'm wondering if this actually was the same scenario where it goes to overtime. Uh, it did not, but he ended up giving up 15 points. He blanked them for two quarters straight and gave up 15 points in the fourth quarter. So he just struggled in the fourth quarter there. That is progress for me. Uh, and we're getting them to a point where I believe all of these guys are going to be capable of winning here on All Madden. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my game and just give you guys some gameplay. Um, we're one and one, but we're facing the Giants. I should be able to come away with a win here. Uh, in terms of player negotiations, we re-signed Leonard Williams. We have a, uh, potentially a negoti negotiation with McCoy. I might bring him back for a season. We'll see. I might bring back Kelvin Beecham. I haven't decided on that. I might bring back Ramon Foster. Um, <coughs> just a lot, a lot of backup players, and I apologize for my cough. I'm still not over this whatever sickness I have right now, so I've been struggling with that a little bit. Um, another thing to look out on the channel is I did finally get my hands on Red Dead Redemption 2, so I'm going to be doing some gameplay on Red Dead Redemption 2, and I hope that you guys will be looking out for that and interested in seeing those videos. So I'm just going to do a Let's Play on that. I'll put up the first episode sometime in the near future when I get, to get a chance to play it. But with that being said, let's just jump into the game, and let's get on with it. 76 overall, so we're at, we are up to a 76. The Giants are a 76, so what looks to be a balanced matchup here. Uh, I'm not going to do anything uniform-wise because I don't uh, necessarily like any of the alternates for the Giants, per se. So we're just going to kind of like roll with what we got here. And we should be able to get a... In my opinion, we, I should be able to get a similar win to what I did against the Dolphins in Week 1. Um, but this offense is probably a lot harder to defend, especially with Saquon. I don't know who they have rolling out at quarterback. I assume Manning, and I didn't see it. Probably popped up on the screen, and I didn't see it. Um, OBJ, Sterling Shepard, Evan Ingram. It's going to be tough to defend them. Uh, so that might be my struggle in this game. All right, and we're going to have to give the ball away first here in the game. Not a big deal. Uh, I don't mind getting the ball second. You know, in the second half, that's actually kind of my preference. But against a high-powered offense like this, I'm really hoping we can get a stop early then. I'm going to not skip this because I want to see who rolls out at QB. Oh, okay. This is actually potentially going to be a lot harder than I thought. We got <coughs> We got to get pressure on this guy early and often because uh, it's Dwayne Haskins. High-end draft pick. Um mobile guy guy that could potentially be pretty difficult for us to stop so I need to get pressure on him early Saquon stumbles forward for a, I don't know, gain of five alright we're going to come out third down strong safety and linebacker blitz You get down here, and you down here. There we go, Pierce. Pierce was our massive signing uh, <laughs> in the offseason. Helps uh, tremendously to have a guy like that up the interior because he's able to get off blocks and stop the run so, e so well, so easily. We're going to call pass. It was a screenplay, but we were able to get in and get the pressure, the user, before he has a chance to really get the pass off, so that'll force an incompletion. That's what I was looking to do there on the first drive. When you're facing a high-powered offense like this, you know, if they're getting the ball first, you want to definitely try and get a stop early, at least force a field goal on the first drive, because you don't want them to get rolling early. 
as they've got it first and ten. They're just going to come out in a strong formation. I think I'm going to pass here on first down just to do something a little bit uh, out of the ordinary for me. That's going to be recorded as a fumble. That's not good. <coughs> um, we had our man open coming across the middle, and I'll review this. Uh, same as I've been doing on this so you can see I made a mistake here I rolled into the sack and I wasn't paying attention to it if I would have backed off and given myself a step by backing off this direction just a step I would have been able to dump the ball right here in front and this is a lot of room to run probably could have got a big gain out of that um, better yet I should have recognized that I was under pressure and not even tried to hit the throw ball animation and that's why that results in a fumble is because he tries to throw it and then tuck it back in. Uh, that's a clean fumble and a clean recovery. So New York's going to get the ball right back, right down here on the goal line, which is not good for us. I don't even know what to call to try and cover this. I'm going to try and do cover three. And I'm just going to try and use her. We're going to get called for QB, roughing the QB, too. This is not a good start for us. But it's going to be... They haven't scored yet, so we're going to have a chance to go line stand. All right, so we're going to go 3-4, and we're basically bringing a ton of pressure here. That's the only way that I can think we're going to be able to... We're going to shift the line. We're going to guess run. I feel like that's the only hope we have. We have to get this guy down in the backfield. Unless, of course, they fall start, which will help us for sure. Okay, this is going to be... We're going to go nickel out of here, try and generate some pressure. It's going to be a pass, guys. To be on the lookout. Ooh, I'm glad that he didn't throw that to Barkley. Barkley would have had a touchdown there. Um, I'm glad he threw that one away. This one's going to be a drop back into coverage type of moment. We're going to just stack the middle and try and prevent them from actually getting an easy run. Or we'll just let him get in for a touchdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's not good for us. Are we running a 3-4? I think I just noticed that we we don't have a 4-3 defense, and I, that's actually a bad thing that I didn't notice that until now, because I want um, Shelton and Pierce out there in the middle to be able to stuff the run. I'm also considering switching off of McCoy at kick return. He's just not doing a whole lot, and I, I took a risk putting him back here because... I thought, you know, every once in a while I'd be able to, like, truck somebody over or make a move, but he just does not do much, to be honest. They're coming out with a pass. We finally got a tight end open. That hasn't happened for us, like, all season. We're just trying to work him out of position here. Oh, I thought I could break the second one. There we go. That's a beautiful 19-yard rush. All right, this should allow us to kind of free some stuff up. This is going to be a quick-hitting drive, and we need to kind of continue that. I'm going to go for another run here in a row out of a different formation, and then I'm going to maybe try and hit him with a quick pass play. Ooh, that was a nice block. I took a chance by running, like, right off the edge of it, and it ended up working out for us. Uh, so this is a good opportunity to try and sh throw the ball. <coughs> because second and inches, if we don't get the second and inches, it gives us a good chance to get the third and inches. So halfback picked that up. 
we had a receiver open and Darnold. You know what? Something I'm noticing, Darnold's throwing animation takes forever. It's like playing with Phillip Rivers. The throwing animation just takes absolutely forever. All right, let's find a matchup here that we like. We like Hall coming across the middle. That should give us the matchup we want. It's going to get us close. And I'm going to risk it here because this is going to put us in fourth and one. And we're going to be able to bait this defense into coming up on us. And I'm going to use my nice little halfback pass here to hopefully get a touchdown out of this play. Because they don't like to cover the halfback out of this formation. So we'll see. And they don't. We spun them out. We weren't able to get the touchdown, which is okay. But we got a nice gain off of that. I'm going to call a spread again and do a bit of a different play. Maybe a level switch. I'm trying to get this defense off their or on their heels, just kind of sitting back. I really just wanted him to uh, catch that because I thought he was going to get hit stick and fumble again. Uh, okay, it just picked a play without me looking. That's okay. It's another like levels type of play. We're gonna have to be careful on this one. That nice run by Darnold will take us down to the three-yard line. Now, what I'm looking to try and do is maybe pass it to the tight end here if I can find a decent play for it. And actually, this might work. Our PA burst cross that we like to do. But let's put Herndon on a... That's not going to work. This is going to get batted down at the line of scrimmage. They sat back instead of blitzing. Which is okay. So now maybe a good idea to try and either power it forward or get it to the outside. I'm going to try and power it forward. That w should have been a touchdown, but they're not going to call it. Which is okay. We should be able to get a touchdown on this play. I'm looking for... The tight end over the middle. I still don't really know how to pronounce that name. Herndon just doesn't sound right to me. And they choose not to cover the halfback this time. So that's going to tie it up 7-7. Seven seven. Kind of redeem ourselves on a little bit of a quick... What I would call a quick drive. After a bad defensive play back there. All right, Bone is at about a minute 25 left in the first quarter, tied 7-7, the Battle of New York. Do these teams play? There's no way that these teams play every year, but it would make so much sense if the Jets and Giants played every year. Is that a thing? Because it should be. They should honestly be in the same division. I think that would be hilarious. I know there's probably Jets and Giants fans out there like cringing. No, they shouldn't be in the same division. That doesn't make any sense <coughs> for one reason or another, but I don't know enough about either of these teams to say. But don't they share a stadium? At least that was yeah, see we're playing with three four. We should be running a three or a four three, so I'm gonna have to find a four three defense. I don't know why. I'm assuming that's just because it's Mike McCarthy's defense that we have listed in there and he runs a three four. So that's going to be the explanation for that one, I assume. We're doing a decent job of containing Barkley. I wish we could have contained him on the goal line. <coughs> Yikes. Okay, so these are potentially out passes. Who is Brooks, and why is he always on the field? Feels odd to me. Not good enough coverage over the middle. Shepard with a good run. I'm just going to pick Pinch Dog 3. Shift everybody over. What are you doing, dude? I should have picked that off. I pressed triangle and my guy didn't move to the ball. That's okay. Most likely because I wasn't. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I wasn't strafing. 
I baited him into the throw. I kind of predicted it. And it didn't work, but that's okay. Happens. Barkley doing a nice job getting him into third and two. Alright, now we need to come kind of heavy and. We have to stop this this run, one way or the other. Come on, man! You got off your block. Make the tackle. Perks of having young defenders. Their awareness is low. Do same thing. Let's do a different blitz here, though. Is there? Where's the corner blitz at? That's what I'm looking for. Crash blitz three. Yeah, bring the corner off the edge on the back side in case they go back side. But I'm going to come down with this safety. Good job filling the hole. Uh, sure, just keep using auto flip, it's fine. Uh, we're going to fake the mid blitz and go buck zone blitz. We're going to blitz this man and cover whatever comes over the middle. I assume it'll be the tight end. Hopefully it's not one of those receivers over there. Our guys are just doing a poor job on the outside of covering. I knew this was going to be a tough... We're, I mean, they're just tough matchups. There's not a whole lot you can do when you're facing OBJ and Sterling Shepard. It's just kind of a testament to the fact that the Giants are just poorly managed and coached in real life because they should be so much better than they are. And I mean, there's no excuse for Eli Manning playing as poorly as he does sometimes. Like, you know, you obviously need somebody in there to kind kind of coach him up a bit because he's a super two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback. There's no reason that, you know, at this stage in his career, he should have dropped off as much as people think he may have. That's going to be a fumble. We're not going to recover it. That's awful. Come on, man. Come on, man. What are you doing? Oh, God. Uh, we're going to call our defensive timeout here because I wasn't coming out prepared for that. We're going to go with the dime. No. Nah. We're just going to go with the quarter. <laughs> and how about y'all cover over the top? I don't want them to get the first down. That's like purely what I'm looking at here. Oh, somehow we baited him into throwing an interception. That's going to be a pick six. Jackson, number 29. I don't even know who that is, to be honest with you. I'm so unfamiliar with this team. All right, I'm looking. I'm looking because he deserves some credit for sitting down and reading that. That's a rookie mistake right there. Jackson. JC Jackson? Yeah, he's our fourth corner. All right. That's going to give us a nice little 14 to 7 lead. I was worried I missed that because there was some wind on that, and I missed it to the left. And maybe what I should do, um, if you guys want to see it, let me down in, know down in the comment section. If you want to see me go over my uh, my friends' teams and what they've done to try and rebuild their teams, I'd be happy to do that. There we go. Nice hit stick. Evan Ingram with a decent catch. Was that Ingram? No, that's Humphreys. I thought it was Ingram out in the slot. Uh, we're going to go Big Nick. Well, I'm going to go with the four lock palms. I think it's six palms. We're going to lock up in man coverage on this side of the field. Now, that's the, the real problem with these big guys in the center. They do a nice job of block shedding, but at the same time... They're so in agile that they can't move to the ball once they do block shed, if that makes sense. 
Come on, Williams. You gotta cover. I guess that's Ingram. Yeah. I shouldn't have trusted the matchup one on one. That's on me. If you guys are watching this, that's a good tip. Don't leave your linebackers one on one with a speedy, very good tight end like Evan Ingram. Other guys in, in that category to not leave wide open George Kittle, Zach Ertz, Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Depending on their speed, you might be able to get away with it, but players like Gronk, I mean, Gronk's, you know, he's not the fastest guy in the world. Uh, he's hes a little slow, to be honest, so you might be able to get away with leaving him man on man, but for the most part, I doubt you'll be able to get away with it. Wayne Gallman sees his first carry, only go for a yard. I really want to get some pressure on this quarterback. We just sat on it. They ran another screenplay. Haskins not having a particularly great game, but able to drive him down into field goal position. This should make it a 14 to 10 game. I struggle with timing on those field goal blocks. I haven't been able to get a block in like ages. When uh when this game first came out, it was easier to block. I was able to block field goals. I was able to get blocked punts. I can't get any of it now. I really like the idea of using LaShawn McCoy as a kick and punt returner, but it doesn't quite seem to be. Uh, okay, so it's going to be a blitz. Anderson should be open here. Nice catch in the face of traffic. I'll take the six yards. I was trying to get a halfback stretch going. Maybe I can get a little bit of a toss going. There's the uh, quick pitch. See, we don't even need to pitch it on this. They're stacking up outside. We can go right up the middle. We should be able to. Remember, if you see the first down, get the first down. Don't ever pass up free yardage. Don't do what the real-life Steelers like to do. Be the real-life Patriots. When it's third and one, get yourself that one yard. Ay ay ay, Hill. I lowered the boom. Hill doesn't have any trucking ability. This is, a, this is one of the things I was worried about with him. Very young running back. Doesn't have a lot of physical ability, per se. I'm hoping our guys didn't get called for roughing the passer. But it seems like they might have. Okay, we got lucky. Gonna be a legal block at the back. That'll bring it back. What if I go with the nickel overload? <coughs> I'm just trying, really trying to prevent a touchdown right now. Come on, Williams, you gotta cover better than that. I guess maybe it wasn't Williams. Oh, yikes, they're gonna come out heavy. We called a guess run because I thought they were going to try and run it there. I stayed back with the safety because I had a feeling it was going to be a play action pass, but. Come on, shift right, guys. Uh, yeah, having this young of a defense and this inexperience is really kind of hurting me right now. 
good catch. Or sorry, good ca uh, tackle. Let them burn their clock. That's fine. All right, they're going four wides. This benefits us because this is going to let our pressure get in clean. As long as we can cover. Come on, pass. Inside, guys. Yeah, that's going to be out of the back of the end zone. I apologize. If you guys are hearing all my controller clicks, I said I'd be putting my thing, my controller under a blanket, and I'm not following through at the moment. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go cover six invert. So they're going to try and run some clock here, or just try and run the ball up the middle. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Let's go! They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That is caught. Good solid tackle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to get pressure. Unless we have to audible out of it again. Ah, uh, and Haskins did a good job of, I actually want to see that because I, uh, I should have switched over to the man, uh, the blitzer. Haskins, wait, why am I on depth chart? I'm looking for instant replay. It's not going to pop up yet, is it? All right, instant replay. Saquon's just so hard to cover. I need to not do that myself. I think he evaded a sack here. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. That would be the rookie. Burns essentially getting juked out by Haskins pulling up the throw. That should have been a sack for sure. Uh, it would have been a sack if we switched over to him. Forty-six seconds, two timeouts. That will afford us an opportunity to try and get a score back before half. <coughs> that means we're going to have to pass the ball, which is. Certainly a bit of a struggle for us. Yeah, if I could have, if that guy could have held his block, we had the edge. Alright. What are some plays we haven't called yet so far? We haven't called double sense a whole lot here when we have we've gotten sacked on it, so we're gonna try and run it. If I can get Anderson open, I can get a quick score here. We just gotta block it right. Linebacker dove back for the pass. Darnold didn't put it exactly where I wanted it to be. So we're going to go ahead and go gun. I'm going to try... Where's that? Middle high-low. That's what I'm looking for. Catch that! Oh, uh, Hall. Or in... Yeah, Hall, Hill, Hall. We had our man open. This ain't good. <coughs> Let's go back to the slant one more time. He caught it. All right, we'll take our time out there. I'm going to go to the same formation, though, and go halfback screen. Maybe we'll be able to get it open. Get to the edge. Get to out of bounds. Oh, come on. All right, so we're going to have to play to the edge now. Which means we like have to call a slant again, basically, and wait for it to develop, or... Uh, like a corner strike, maybe. Anderson, let's hope, or let's hope Hall can get open on the left. I don't know what happened there. I was passing to the man coming across the field. Probably a good thing that that was actually incomplete. Bench might work. Come on, guys, we gotta make this work. 
Darnold not necessarily able to get that to his man in stride. <coughs> Let's go with the double slants since we haven't been able to get anything else to work and maybe we'll be able to drop it in close to the sideline over there. We have, I mean, we got guys we could get open on a streak, but we haven't been able to get man coverage at all. Just get to the edge. And I actually passed it to the wrong, the wrong guy there. At least I think I did. I'm going to show you guys the replay. That gives us a chance. Oh, no, we don't have a timeout. Okay, I'm going to have to literally throw this ball away. And I called a... Uh, that's beautiful. I called a run play. What are they going to call? We might benefit from a glitch here. This might run the clock off. Or might not run the clock off because it's a hold. Uh, but I'm not going to get to show you the replay now. I believe I could have thrown it to the other wide receiver. I'm going to... That should be in. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> There was six six mile uh, six mile per hour wind in our favor, and we weren't able to get that field goal to go. We hit it perfectly. We angled it downward and everything. Looks like we're just gonna have to do it this half. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try some different things here. What do we got for play action? Uh, it doesn't make me feel good. Just possession catch it, my dude. There you go. Good job. 10 for 15 and a touchdown. I mean, it's not like Darnold's playing poorly. We're in the game. Herndon doing a good job. We promoted him to tight end over Ricky Seals Jones. Seals Jones just did not do much for us. We really need Hill to develop some because he's just not... He's not very agile, so his cuts aren't very good. We got pass wise here. I don't like this. That's where we're going to go. We're going to go I for him, and we're going to give Scarborough a good chance at fullback here to pile this up. Scarborough doing a great job for us so far. He does a great job of powering it forward. We might be able to get a play action pad. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. It's going to be a two-yard rush. All right, we should probably get out of that formation and just see what else we got. Strong flood might work for us. Anderson coming across. Herndon, you got to do a better job than that. You're just too slow. <coughs> what yard line were we at that we missed that field goal? That's my question right now. We misread the linebacker's movement, so we dumped it off underneath. And we could have probably gotten that ball out. That should be out of bounds. Nope, that's going to go to the end zone. Oh, it did go out of bounds. Beautiful. That's a five-yard line. That's going to put them in a tough spot. Again, as usual, bring our safeties down into position to try and actually do something. That's going to be a safety. 
that's going to bring us within one point. 17 to 16. I believe that's May or Ford. May or Ford on the safety. McCoy just cover the ball. All right, that's going to give us decent field position, too. All right, so let's really make an effort to maybe try and run the ball here because we are struggling, I feel like, passing-wise. The numbers don't necessarily say we're struggling passing-wise, but it just feels to me like we are. Hell, you can't fumble again! That's... 36-year-old Navarro Bowman, you can't fumble on that. Ay, ay, ay. You'd think with the press coverage we'd be able to cover Humphreys. Alright, Saquon not able to get much. We need to make this stop on third down. We're actually going to call the nickel here. <coughs> just kind of blitz the front across. There we go. We're going to get the sack on the play. Brown. That'll give us the ball back one more time. We gotta get the we gotta get the lead back. It's kind of crucial that we actually make something happen on this drive. Hill's two fumbles has kind of have kind of killed us. We're gonna go ahead and give him the ball one more time. I am really curious to see what his carrying rating is that he has fumbled twice already. You either need to not fumble or you need to do you need to hold you need to truck slash protect the ball all right we're good doing a decent job moving the ball here we're gonna go spread them out a bit just check our matchups see who we can get open we could probably get we should be able to get Hall open over the top. You need to get yourself open. We're taking a shot. You didn't catch that? Dude! There's no way that safety should be able to get over to you. You have to just come down with that fall. This is going to be the same play. We're going to put you on a fade, but we're going to give ourselves an option coming across the middle this time in case... Same thing happens. Yeah, the safety just... <coughs> that's Collins. I mean, I can't... You know, he's got... He's got all the speed in the world. I can't complain about him too much. We're trying to run this one. Great spin move by Hill to get into the cutback lane and get up there for a beautiful game. All right. It's time for some possession football. We're putting in LaShawn McCoy, who not necessarily the best running back to have in the situation, but would be able to protect the ball, hopefully more so than my other guys have. That's going to get him down to the one, the two, And I think I'm going to try and do a little slant here by Anderson. Hopefully nobody gets underneath of him. There you go. He's able to get inside positioning there and go up for the catch. And I'm going to go with... Not single back. I for him. 
and we're going to try and toss it around for the two-point conversion. Uh, we're going to flip that, because I'm not going to Landon Collins' side. We've already seen what he does to us. We had the blocking, but neither of them decide to step to it and actually block the guy. I want to show you guys. You, <laughs> you have to be perfect prepared for this type of thing, because both guys pull... All it takes is one of these guys to actually block him for this work play to work successfully. And Scarborough, it looks like, tried to come back inside and actually gets caught on the pulling guard. Yeah, pulling guard. But, in any case, that's going to give us a 22 to 17 lead. 42 seconds left in the third quarter, so this is a good time to take the lead back. All we have to do is continue to... Con Continue to play well defensively. Yeah, Jacob, use your words, jeez. Has my mic been muted that entire time? Or has it not? I really hope my mic hasn't been muted that entire time, but I tried to mute it to cough. And then I... It seemed like it was still... It seemed like it unmuted it, so I hope that wasn't muted the whole time. I'm going to have to watch this back and see. Saquon with a beautiful spin move. We're going to show Blitz on this one. We might be able to convince him into throwing a bad pass. Come on, someone has that zone, Lee. You have that zone, cover that zone. We're just gonna go cover two man, nothing fancy. All right, that'll take us to the fourth quarter. They're gonna try and pass it, which makes a lot of sense because they do need to get the lead back if they're planning on winning. Oh, you could have gone up for that with two hands. You got to come down with that ball. We're going to continue to go big nickel. We're going to go cover nine. That was a nice pick play. And that's going to result in OBJ getting a touchdown. Not much you can complain about there other than they need to code the game better. If you can see here, this is a down, this is a downfield pick play. There's no way that that should be. You can see the guys trying to come down and cover, and that wide receiver just keeps pushing the corner out. And this guy should have been there to actually just deflect the ball. Should have been offensive pass interference, but it's not going to get called. You guys need to press. <laughs> That'll give us a nice sack, and we can at least get the lead with a field goal. It made sense to go for two. That's probably a hold or a block in the back. I don't think they ever call holding on. The interesting thing is that I have, blo I have a legal block in the back turned down by one notch, which is usually enough to uh, prevent it from being called constantly. But we're still getting the calls constantly, and I assume that's just because our team isn't good, but... Hill has 90 yards, but two fumbles. Artificial 
We're going to try and go PA scissors and hope that they don't get in the backfield. Scarborough gets close to the first. We're going to go ahead and utilize Scarborough one more time, our short yardage man. Very consistent for us so far. He's gotten the first down basically every time we've given it to him. <coughs> and actually, I'm going to try and give him the ball when it's not short yardage. Just to see if he can like break out. Uh, they're not going to allow that. Like a quick slant on this one. It actually worked nicely. We just let it develop. There wasn't much pressure. Robbie Anderson gets open. That's a good play. I need to keep that in mind because they, if they stack up like that and you can get guys open coming across the field, that really kind of pays off. Winters, if you're going to pull, you can't just sit in the hole. You need to, like, you need to go, man. You need to go. Uh, McCoy. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with Hill. I don't even know at this point. I'm just calling what works because we've been struggling other otherwise. Down to the 36. We need to get in range. <coughs> We're going to go out of the same formation. Potentially call play action. Nah, this should be enough to get us close. Okay, and apparently we can't make this distance of a field goal. So we're going to do a bit of a different play here. Again, we're going to try and get the halfback open. Going into the flat. That's going to be Olison. Olison actually going to get into the end zone. Die for it. Olison with his first touchdown on the season. That's what I like to see. That's like his third touch. And that's going to be a touchdown. Now we're going to... Last time we tried to do a toss play. This time I want to maybe do a slant. I would really like to get the tight end involved because I want them to get XP, but if they ain't covering the halfback, we're going to take it. <laughs> That'll give the Jets a nice seven-point lead going into about three minutes left in the fourth quarter in the game total. 30-23 to 23 over the Giants. Honestly, our defense... Doing a decent job as of late trying to stop this de these guys. I mean, just got juked out by OBJ. That's why I, I'm going to go big nickel, and I'm going to keep going with four lock palms. And I'm going to have a man on OBJ no matter what. I want to do some defensive adjustments here. Um, where do we go? Coach adjustments. Ball and air defense. You're just going to do balance. It's fine. Cornerback matchups. We're going to go by speed, option, defense, pass rush, aggressive, strip ball, aggressive, tackling, conservative no need to be hit sticking or anything and we'll go cover six invert hopefully those adjustments do something for us we got burns coming off the edge obj doing a good job of just juking people out making men miss Very difficult, but when you're running a drag route, 
Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. That one goes for 24 yards. The drive continues. Ooh, this is not going to be good. We need to bring guys down. Defensive line, adjusting. I was going to say, if they try and run that ball, we're dead in the water. That's going to be them calling us on another roughing the passer. I think that's a bit of a BS call. It wasn't much of a late hit at all, to be honest with you. Brookson, why is he always playing high safety? They're gonna go hurry up once again. <coughs> inside, guys, cover inside. We had a guy right there, just jump up and bat the ball, you bozo. Aye, aye. You know if that's an AI defender, they're picking that off. We had a guy right there. But, at the very least, we give ourselves a chance to win the game here. We can't afford another turnover, another fumble. Well, we could get a good return going here. Oh, uh, and we're going to have a return touchdown called back on a illegal block in the back penalty. That's absolutely ridiculous. We've had a legal block in the back on like every play. Okay, I don't care what anybody says. After this game, a legal block in the back is getting nuked. Period. There should not be an illegal block in the back on every return. But, LaShawn McCoy, nice return. You've uh, earned the right to keep your kick return job, at least. We're just going to let the clock run a bit. No need to go crazy. I really don't want to leave this game up to my kicker, to be honest with you. Alright, matchups. Who do we got? Anderson has a speed tight end. It's not going to tell us on him. This should put us in a decent position. It did put us in a decent position. We had our man open, and he's going to get sacked. Way too easy of a sack there, in my mind. We're going to take a chance here. Hernan, you go straight up and draw the safety in. Darnold! Darnold just absolutely misses the wide open... Man, and that's going to pay. It's going to make him pay. Oh, that's going to go out of the back of the end zone. I should have put backspin on it, but that's going to kill some clock, which is nice. Actually, I should have just sky kicked that. Two running. They're just going to run it out. <laughs> We're calling man though, that way we have safeties over the top. Actually, they're not even running it out there. Oh yeah, they are. They're running it out. Let's go. Three, 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 three. 
All right, took that clock down. This is going to go to OT. And hopefully we get the ball in overtime. It's going to be our first OT game of the year. There's been a couple already at this point. Tails. The Giants won. That's great. Okay. We have to defend. Yikes. All right, we're bringing out all the stops here on defense. I'm not holding them back. It's going to be heat every play. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to generate a turnover. That would be crucial. You know, the funny thing is, if we would have hit that field goal that hit the uprights earlier, we would be winning right now. Come on, guys. We're blitzing everybody. You need to do a better job in run defense. That is 100% for sure. You guys can't just let him run up the middle. Pierce and Sheldon. Richardson. You guys need to not let him run right up the middle. Leonard Williams. Like, come on. You guys are massive. You guys should have no business allowing these guys just to get easy runs up the middle. Three touchdowns for Dwayne Haskins. That's also part of the problem. <laughs> you got the blitz wide open. What are you doing? Oh. We're going to lose in overtime because Burns doesn't know how to freaking sack a guy. Can we get an instant replay on that one? Holy crap. You gotta be flipping kidding me. <coughs> well, that is game three in the books. We're gonna lose to Dwayne Haskins, who ain't good, throwing a fourth touchdown over the middle because we couldn't cover him. So the pass defense getting exposed. The pass defense is going to be the ones that cost us this game. The real question for me, why on earth is this Ford guy constantly in its safety? I'm convinced that's what's killing us. And I'm that's like the exact play that the other team scored on to win the last game. That's absolutely absurd. Alright, that's going to take us to week... Four. This is what I don't understand. Someone help me understand what is going on with the secondary and why this Ford guy is in, I, like ever in. I have Marcus May and Jamal Adams. Why are they not on the field? Who like who is Ford? Or Brooks? Like why why are I don't I don't even know who Ford is. It's Brooks, not Ford. Why? And better yet, why is Brooks subbing in at the free safety spot when I only have him in the depth chart at the strong safety? What? Is he in, like, slot corner or sub linebacker? No. What on? Oh, my God. This is insane. Well, we get a tough loss there in week three. We're going to be able to come back against the Bills, though. I guarantee you we're getting a win here in week four, and we're going to improve to two and two going into New England. Uh, the division all still up for grabs, especially with New England being one and two at this point, the Dolphins being 0 and three, the Bills are 2 and 0, and one tie. So that's interesting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. A little bit upset about the way that ended, but we'll see you guys in the next one. 
leave a like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel, and comment down below for your feedback. If you notice something we did wrong there, feel free to let me know because evidently I'm struggling a little bit more than I thought I would with this 75 overall team. Uh, I feel like I should have won both of those last two games, but actually really turnovers are what killed me. That's what I want to look at. What is Justice Hill's carrying rating? Eighty-three. So I mean, it's not good, but he shouldn't be fumbling quite that much. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Probably it'll be Red Dead Redemption Two. See you guys.